Charles, technology, a double-edged sword. Over to you. From working to entertainment, technology has affected a lot of aspects of our life. We all agree that technology has changed the way we do things. It has changed the way we uh, interact with each other. It has changed the way we do business. Well, technology is like a double-edged sword. If you guys are wondering, this is a sword. A double-edged sword. Okay, so like a double-edged sword, it can be used, if it is used properly, it can be used to help us. But if we use it in the wrong way, we can hurt ourselves. Now, in this speak, in this talk, I will talk about three things, three aspects that technology has a lot of impact to our lives. First, I'll talk about how technology has affected the way we do things. Second, I'll talk about how technology has affected how we interact with people. And lastly, I will talk about how technology has impacted the way we do business. All right, let me start with my first point, which is how technology has affected us has a fact how technologies have affected us on how we do things now technologies has helped us in a lot of ways we how many of you were there before the invention of the internet can i see some sort of hands yeah we did all right so <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do you guys remember how hard it is to find information you have to search through dozens of books that you got either from library, your own collections, or maybe from your friends. And it was very tr troublesome having to dive through a lot of books just to find that simple information. Now, with the invention of internet, we now have a friend. His name is Google. We can just ask him every single thing that we wanted. It is like a 24-hour guru that we can ask every single time and usually we can get the answer in an instant <coughs> now technology has helped, has, uh, has helped us not only to that extent in 2017 we will witness a concept a new concept called smart home which will help us even further now imagine this uh, so imagine a uh, way saying you will arrive in 10 minutes. Well, if you're wondering, yeah, that's how we sound. Uh, yeah. So, pri 10 minutes prior to your arrival at home, your aircon will be turned on to, s to cool your room into the temperature that you wanted. Your home will be cleaned by a cleaning bot. Your, your food will, be, will start cooking. And lastly, your, your hot tub will be filled with hot water so that when you come home, you can just dip in the, into hot water and have a fine dinner afterwards. Well, do you think how amazing it is technology has helped us through? Well, all good things doesn't come for free. There, there is also a bad things about technology. We are growing too much dependent on technology itself. As, uh, uh, that we cannot live without it. Have you guys ever imagined what if one day all the technologies that we use today, your laptop, your phones, are being taken away? Will you still be able to survive? Now, uh, moving towards the second point, how technology has to change the way we interact. Have you guys, do you guys still remember how you interact with people before the age of email? You have to send Mails and you are, you are expected to get the reply in few weeks. It was really, really not a good time to wait. And now we we can easily connect to people from another side of the world just in an instant. 
just we can get reply just in a single of a time. It was really fast, but how does it affect our way of communicating? Well, first of all, it technology may have bring those who are far away closer to us, but it also has bring those who are close to us to even further. Even people who are sitting just next beside us, we don't even talk to him, to him or her. Well, I'm glad that we still have a meeting like this, Toastmaster, which where we can still uh, see face to face, discussing about how to be a great public speaker. Now, moving to the next point, which is how technology has changed the way we do business. Now, in business, making a timely decision, critical timely decision is very important. And now, with the emergence of big data, making a critical decision is much, much more easier. With all the data that we have in which are processed with a uh, current technology, we can we can make a critical decision, a very good decision in a timely manner. Those we cannot do before before the data. Computer has been computer also has going to be uh, has gone smarter and smarter every single day. And perhaps would you ever would you think that what do you think if computer one day exceeds our intelligence. Will, will we be replaced by computers? Will all the jobs existed today be replaced by computer one day? Now, technology, once again, technology has a good thing and a bad thing. It's up to us whether we want to use it for a good thing and neglecting the bad thing. And it's also under our control how we use it. Whether we want to be dependent on it or we want to make it as, a, as only our tools to help us do our daily tasks. Now, like a martial artist, if you use your short sword in a very good manner, you, you will get what you want. Alright, back to you, Toastmaster of the evening. Thank you.